welcome back to all of you guys welcome in another video of ms biology in this video lecture i am going to discuss about qualitative and quantitative estimation of a phosphate this video is totally uh, on the practical aspects that means how in a laboratory can be can be performed to estimate the phosphate solubilization efficiency and phosphate solution potential uh, this video is totally for all those research scholars who are working their research on the topic of a phosphate solubilizing bacteria and also for the PGPR that is the plant growth promoting diazole bacteria. So I am going to discuss about the, uh, what is the mean of phosphate solubilizing bacteria and how the quantity of a phosphate can be estimated which is solubilized by the uh, phosphate solubilizing bacteria. So basically PGPR that is stand for the plant growth, uh, plant growth promoting rhizobacteria is a group of a bacteria which is found in the periphery of the root in the soil. Right. So basically these are the beneficial bacteria and uh, very very important and very useful for the uh, farmers and also for the uh, agriculture practices. So these bacteria have a certain properties known as the PGPR traits and PGPR properties which are helpful for the plant growth and development even under the uh, biotic and abiotic stress conditions. So one of the uh, property of a PGPR that is a phosphate solubilization. So based on the phosphate solubilization ability, the bacteria is categorized into the phosphate solubilizing bacteria that is stand for the PSB. So all those bacteria that is all those rhizospheric bacteria having potential to solubilize insoluble phosphate into the soluble phosphate is known as the phosphate solubilizing bacteria. These are the bacteria which is present in the uh, periphery of a root in the soil and with the association of a uh, root and these are the uh, very very important beneficial kind of a bacteria. It might be it may be uh, that is a gram positive and gram negative. So in this video uh, basically, I am going to discuss how in a laboratory we can perform the phosphate solubilization potential estimation. That means how uh, we can know the bacteria has ability to solubilize the phosphate and if we can uh, we know the ability of phosphate solubilization then how much amount a bacteria can solubilize the insoluble phosphate. So before going to discuss about the phosphate solubilization, I would like to brief the importance of phosphate solubilizing bacteria. Actually, the farmers uh, use chemical fertilizer in the form of a DAP, that is the ammonium phosphate, right, for the phosphate. So these chemical fertilizers are uh, toxic for the uh, no, uh, toxic for the soil health as well as the crop, because. Uh, the amount of a uh, chemical fertilizer used by farmers for their crop uh, productions there is a report that is only 8 to 10 percent of a given DAP that means a diphosphate is used by the plant and another 80 to 90 percent is uh, totally uh, deposited in the soil in the form of a metal complex whenever uh, dap uh, chemical fertilizer used in a chemical uh, used in the soil it get uh, bind to the metal ions like as aluminum like as a calcium like as a uh, iron already present in the soil and it form a, a complex with the metals that is the insoluble form and the, in the form in the in the insoluble form plant are unable to uptake those kind of a phosphate so that is why there is a crisis for the phosphate so there is a need a certain kind of a way to by which the already present phosphate in the soil can be available in the form of a plant usable so there is a sustainable approach there is a this kind of a bacteria that is phosphate solubilizing bacteria has great potential to solubilize the insoluble phosphate already present in the soil into the soluble form which are available for the plant. So this is the importance of the phosphate solubilizing bacteria. Okay. So basically, first of all, as we all know, bacterial uh, bacteria can be isolated uh, by the seal dilutions. When uh, you have a colony of a bacteria, then you can as the, you, you can screen for the uh, phosphate solubilization potential ability. So first of all, uh, 
I would like to categorize into two parts that is a quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative means just screening for the solubilization of phosphate. That means bacteria is either uh, phosphate solubilizing or not. For those, so basically we have to prepare a media that is a solid media known as the uh, NBRIP agar media or PKV agar media. So firstly, uh, we have to prepare uh, agar abundant media that is the NBRIP media or uh, PKV media and this media will be prepared and then autoclave and then uh, finally will be poured in the plate and uh, left in the laminar airflow for the sorting fine. And the bacterial colony uh, which are isolated from the soils are revived and freshly uh, cultured in uh, TSB or NB media for the overnight. So freshly prepared bacterial culture will spot inoculated on the agar plate that is the NBRIP plate. You just you can see here this is the NBRIP agar plate which is prepared by NBRIP media. NBRIP media that is the National Botanical Research Phosphate Media which is especially for the screening and quantitative analysis of the uh, phosphate solubilization potential. So you can uh, see here the for quantitative estimation of a phosphate solubilization ability we have to prepare NBRIP or PKV agar media. NBRIP media composition is here listed here. This is the component that is the glucose. This is media composition for the 1 liter, the glucose uh, 10 gram, tricalcium orthophosphate 5 gram, magnesium chloride 5 gram, magnesium sulfate 0.25 gram, potassium chloride 0.2 gram, and ammonium sulfate 0.1 gram. So this is the chemical composition of NBRIP media. So we have to prepare NBRIP with addition of agar known as the NBRIP agar media. And these agar media will prepare an autoclave and then finally pour in a plate and left for the solding fine in a laminar air flow. After the solidification of a media, the freshly grown uh, overnight bacterial culture will spot inoculated on the this plate. So after, uh, after the inoculation, this plate will kept in a BOD uh, for the three to five days at the 28 uh, to 30 degree Celsius. So after the after Three to three uh, after two or three days, there will be uh, uh, there will be a clear hollow zone, hollow zone formation. This kind of a hollow zone formation indicate the sol uh, solubilization of a phosphate by the bacteria. So as you uh, you can see here, this is the bacterial colony, and this is the NBRIP agar media. The bacterial colony has potential to solubilize insoluble phosphate in the NBRIP media. That is why this is the clear halogen formation takes place. So these clear halogen formation, uh, uh, halogen formations indicate the bacteria has potential to uh, solubilize the phosphate because NBRIP contain tricalcium orthophosphate which is water insoluble that is insoluble phosphate that's why it media uh, appears like a creamy uh, creamy milky whitish so these uh, milky whitish is just because of the insoluble tricalcium phosphate if the bacteria has potential to solubilize these insoluble phosphate it will form a clear halogen around the bacterial colony so this is the indication of a bacteria has a potential of a, uh, to solubilize the phosphate which is present in the nbrip media so this is the uh, this is the screening and quantitative estimation of a phosphate so for the quantitative estimation there is only uh, two things you have to do first the prepare uh, you uh, prepare nbrip or pkv media Basically, PKV media is also used for the phosphate solubilization and NBRIP media is also. But NBRIP is much better than as compared to PKV because PKV have certain unknown chemical composition that is it is uh, it has some uh, uh, unknown uh, chemical compositions while NBRIP each and every chemical compositions are well known as you can see here. So basically NBRIP media is a uh, uh, kind of a bacteria uh, having all the informations regarding this. So NBRIP media is much more better than as compared to the PKV. But you can use uh, any one of both. 
okay so this is this picture this plate is showing that bacteria has potential to solubilize the phosphate present in the uh, uh, nvrip agar media okay once you have identified once you have a screen for the phosphate solution potential then next stage is come to the how much amount of uh, uh, phosphate can be solubilized by given bacteria so this is known as a quantitative estimation of a phosphate solubilization potential that means after uh, performing this kind of operatical we can calculate the um, actual amount of a phosphate uh, in gram microgram uh, per ml etc by the phosphate solubilizing bacteria so for this we have to prepare nvrip broth media as you can see here there was the nvrip agar media so there is a no need of addition of a, uh, agar in the nvrip media so firstly prepare with an nvrip media as the composition is listed here you can use and you can easily find uh, there are so many kind of a papers on the uh, nvrip media so nvrip media after preparing uh, uh, overnight uh, grown fresh culture uh, inoculum has also included into nvrip broth media and then uh, incubate at 30 degrees celsius for one uh, 24 hours at the 120 rpm that is in, in incubator in incubator shaker incubator shaker have a fix uh, have a uh, uh, regulatory kind of a speed rotator uh, you can adjust your speed at, at the given uh, at the required rpm okay so for this uh, we have to maintain 120 rpm and for 24 hours at 30 AV celsius now after 24 hours completing one ml from a flask is uh, taken and in, in a centrifuge tube and centrifuge at 10,000 rpm for 15 minutes at 4 degree celsius that means this is the configuration of a centrifuge centrifuge is, is kind of a uh, instrument and is can be used for the separation of uh, molecules okay so 10000 rpm 50 minutes and 4 degree celsius after after centrifugation there will be two phase that is superintendent and pellet so 500 microliter from superintendent we have to take take and in a fresh a fresh uh, centrifuge tube and add equal amount of a coloring reagent coloring reagent is a uh, reagent prepared by three different kind of a compositions known as as you can see here coloring reagent compositions ammonium molybdate that is 1.5 percent weight by volume sulfuric acid 5.5 volume by volume and ferrous sulfate 2.7 percent weight by volume by mixing all these three chemical gradient we can prepare coloring reagent so 500 microliter of this coloring reagent and 500 microliter of uh, uh, supernatant of the culture both mixed in a simple in a single fresh append drop centrifuge tube and incubate for 15 minutes in a dark and after the competition of 15 minutes the spectrophotometric reading that is od is taken at the 700 nanometer so after the spectrophotometric reading, uh, we, uh, you, have, you will have uh, different kind of uh, values that is uh, different different uh, composition uh, concentration of a phosphate. So this is the protocol for the estimation of a phosphate solubilization that is a quantitative. So, so basically uh, what you have to do but just basically uh, prepare and bear IP broth media and then uh, overnight grown culture bacterial culture and uh, incubate 1 ml into the NBRIP broth media and then uh, left for uh, kept uh, for a shaker at the 120 rpm 30 24 hours right so after the uh, spectrophotic meter uh, reading what kind of uh, values will you will have to see you can see here so as you can see the absorbance value will be like that and the concent actual concentration of phosphate will be look like that how uh, you can calculate the absorbance value into the amount of a phosphate so for that there will be a standard phosphate graph uh, it can be prepared by um, a method i will discuss in another video it is itself a good topic for the how to prepare a standard plot a standard graph 
so by uh, plotting this graph there will be an equation that is y is equal to yeah, etc so uh, here uh, we can calculate the where y is equal to will be uh, the absorbance value and x will be the amount of a concentration so by uh, by these equations we can uh, calculate the x value that is the uh, actual amount of a concentration so putting this formula and uh, putting this value in this formula we can get, uh, get this number so uh, absorbance value will convert into the uh, concentration that is the phosphate amount and these phosphate amount can be plotted in the graph by different uh, methods in excel sheets so all these things that is the uh, how to prepare a excel sheet graph and how to prepare a uh, standard graph uh, for phosphate yeah, for endolastic acid uh, etc i will be discuss in another video so this is all about the uh, phosphate solubilization potential how uh, phosphate uh, can be estimated in uh, quantitatively and quanti uh, quantitatively right so this is all about that hopefully uh, this will this video will help you thank you